Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of drawing angles. This is standard 4.7D in the great state of Texas. And we are using item number six of the 2019 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a ray, we don't see that very often, ray TU, means this line right here. It's called a ray because it has a starting point at T, and it's got this arrow right after it goes through U, which means it goes on forever. So a ray starts somewhere and then continues on forever. So that's a ray. And it's been drawn on this protractor. So this protractor is our tool that we use to measure angles, just like we use a ruler to measure length. So we need to construct an angle that has a measure of 85 degrees. That's what we're looking for. We need to draw another ray, starts at T, and then it's going to go through either R, S, V, or W. So 85 degrees. So let's make sure we understand what we have here. We've got acute angles, we've got right angles, and we've got obtuse angles. And so everything starts with our right angles. Those are 90 degrees. So if I were to put a line right at the zero or at the, uh, the 180, that would be a 90 degree angle because the second line goes through that 90 right there. So it's a square corner has perpendicular lines. So acute angles are anything less than that 90. And then obtuse is anything greater than that 90. And you notice we're looking for an 85 degree. So we're looking for something that's going to be acute, but just barely. Like maybe something like this. It's going to be a pretty big angle, just a little bit below 90, because that's what we're looking for, is an acute angle. So let's just draw these and just see what we get. So if we were to start right here, just go, oh, that's not super straight, but let's pretend it is. So if we were to go right here to this R, since it's not on a zero, what we need to do is we need to subtract the two numbers we can either pick inside or outside. Probably, let's just pick outside, that's the easiest. So this R, right between zero and 10, it's five. And then this other one's gonna be easy. This U is gonna just stay at 90. So what I need to do is I need to subtract my 90 and my 5. And wow, look at that. That might be exactly what we're looking for. That point R gets you an 85 degree angle. So that makes sense. That looks like it's almost a right angle, but it's a little bit acute because this, this R is up 5 degrees. So let's just verify and let's just see what the other ones look like. Oh my goodness, that is skinny. Look at that S right there. That S is right on the 85. So that's the, that's the trick right there is, oh, the S is on the 85. But you have to measure the distance between the two lines. And right now my two lines go right there. I need to subtract those two numbers. I've got my 90 and my 85. So that is a five degree angle. That is very, very thin. It almost looks like uh, just a straight line. It is not very big, so that's not gonna work for us. Uh, let's see what this V does here. This V, it is, if I'm looking on the outside, it's between 100 and 110. So I'm gonna call that 105. So 105, once again, we're going to subtract that from my 90, and that is going to be 15. So it's not much bigger. It's a 15 degree angle. And then finally, we can look at point W. Now point W starts on this bottom line, so we can use, actually use the inside. We could just go from zero it goes all the way up to 90, and look at that. That is a 90-degree angle right there. That is a square corner, so that's close, but not what we need. Our answer here is F, point R.